today we're going to be looking at how to make a shuriken or in other words a ninja star like you see here now this is not a difficult fold if you search youtube you will find many videos telling you how to do this um, I thought I would make this video one for visitors to my website and two because well maybe I will explain things a little different from other people and maybe that might help you if you're having trouble. I'll link to some of the other videos in the show notes so if you're having trouble with this model you can get many um, you can look at many different ways, uh, many different instructors ways. Anyways, so ninja star. Now you can see I have a lot of ninja stars here right now, shurikens. Now first off, I want to look at these. There are a number of different ways to make these. And we'll just look at these two for example. You can see both of these use two different colors and that should tell you that they use um, two pieces of paper, two pieces of square origami paper. Now these two models differ in one of them is the same on both sides. One is different. And I'll go, I'll go over how to do that. It's, um, you just change one thing when you're folding it to get different ways. Uh, there's also there's also a way to make from one sheet of paper colored in white, which is the other side of the paper. And there's actually uh, where did I put it? Oh, this one. There's actually a more complicated way also to make from one sheet of paper. Uh, this is a. Um, interesting model. A lot of clever folds from uh, Jeremy Schaefer. And I, I won't show you how to do this one, but I'll link to his video in the show notes. And finally we have these two. And these two are made from US letter paper. And you can see the same thing as the origami paper models. You can do both ways. You can do the same on both sides, or different on both sides. If you're not uh, from America, you might not be familiar with U.S. letter paper. It's shorter and fatter than A4 paper. Uh, unfortunately, if you're not in America, it might be kind of hard to come by. Actually, I'm in Japan, and it is hard to come by here. But um, it's easy enough for me to order from the States so I can get some. Uh, the chief advantage of the A4 um, is that it's thicker, which if you're actually going to throw these things might be a little better. It gives it some more weight to keep a straight line. In fact, these are the thickest. The two paper um, uh, the two sheet origami paper models are a little less thick and the one sheet models are actually very thin. This is, I don't think this would fly very well. Anyways, let's get started. Let's go over how to do these. So you're going to begin with uh, two sheets of paper. And uh, color choice is up to you, of course. Uh, you might pick complementary colors, you might not, doesn't matter. So let's begin. Um, take your first sheet of paper and face the white side up, and then fold it in half. And I'm going to crease that line. I'm just going to use the back of my fingernail to 
crease these lines. All right, and then fold that again. Once again, I'm going to make sure to give that a good crease. Now I want to pause for a moment here, and I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you notice um, I am not exact here, and that doesn't matter. I know some people stress out about being exact. Sometimes that's important. Um, for the more complex models, that becomes important. But for simpler models, don't worry, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have a rectangle here, and we want to do the same thing with the other piece of paper. So I am going to take a few minutes to try to line up, but at the same time, I'm not going to worry if I'm slightly off. Okay, so we have two rectangles. Now you might see some videos where people, instead of folding it twice, they actually fold both flaps to the inside. Really that doesn't matter too much. The only advantage of doing that is you completely hide the white color. But again, I don't think it matters that much. So this is one less fold by doing it this way. Might as well. So anyways, we have two uh, rectangles here. Now let me pause for a moment. Uh, let me get another sheet of paper. Now if you are, if you want to do the one sheet model, or the simple one sheet model, not chair maze, the only thing, the only thing different you have to do is you're going to form these two triangles by folding this in half and then ripping it down the middle. And then you're going to fold each of the two pieces in half. So you can see you're going to end up with two triangles, or two rectangles, excuse me, just like this. The only difference is they will be thinner and they will only be one color. Okay, so if you want to do the one sheet model, that's the only difference. So anyways, next we're going to fold both of these in half. Now once again, let's pause for a moment here. Now remember I showed you that you can make oh, oops, that you can make models that are the same on both sides or that are different on both sides. And this is the step where you decide if I want them different on both sides, then I am going to fold both of these papers exactly the same. From here on. On the other hand, if I want them different on both sides, I am going to fold these opposite. Now I'll show you what I mean. Let's fold one of them first. I'm going to fold the right side up along this, so we have the middle crease. Fold the right side up along that middle crease and the left side down or twist it and right side up again. Okay, now again, if I want uh, different sides, I'm going to fold this exactly the same way. If, on the other hand, I want diff or the same sides, I'm going to fold this exactly opposite, like this. Okay, let's actually fold it the same way right now. 
So once again, let's, let's fold right, up, left, down. Let's crease both of these. Now you're going to turn the model over and you're going to fold both of the corners in. So in and in. And once again, you can see I'm far from exact here, but that's okay. Really don't worry too much about it. If when you finish you're unhappy with how exact some of the folds turned out, well, that's okay, just do it again. You'll get more practice that way. Origami paper is cheap enough. Well, outside Japan, it's a little more expensive. Here, it's very, very cheap. But even in America, it's not that bad. Okay, now, once again, I'm going to do the same thing for this side, or for this piece. Put the, fold the corners in. Let's crease those. And then do this. Okay, so this is what I have. I have two identical pieces here. And once again, had I folded one differently, these would be the exact opposite. So you see what happens if I am combining for different sides, I'm going to combine this way. If I'm combining to make the sides the same, I will be combining this way. I'll show you what I mean. First, let's combine this one. So again, we have the exact same the exact same. And let's combine it like this. Fold this flap down. Fold this flap down. Put this in there. And then just try to tuck this under. And there we go. The single side model. Now, I happen to have with me two folds that I did differently. So you see these are the exact opposite. And once again, the only thing I did differently was at the step where I have the rectangle. I am going to fold them exactly opposite. So this one went uh, went right side up, left side down, and this one I'm going the opposite. And then everything else is the same. Fold the corners in and fold it in on itself. Now combining this one is a little more tricky. I'm going to combine them like this. And it's actually a little tougher, but it's still not bad. And again, just kind of tuck these in. You can figure it out. You can see how they go. Tuck them into each other. Now the last piece is actually the hard one. Tucking it into this pocket, you have to kind of work it a little bit. Still not bad, but it's not as easy as the single side ones. So anyway, just kind of work it in there. And there you go, the double-sided model. Now this is how you can make the shuriken from origami paper. I will do a different video where I show you how to make it from A, or not A4, excuse me, from U.S. letter paper. 
that'll be a different video. And I will give some links in the um, video notes for um, some other people making these and for the, the more complicated model I told you about from um, Jeremy Schaefer. Anyways, here you are. Thank you for watching.